What do you see when you look at this picture? A brick wall? A tree? Perhaps a sidewalk you don't want to walk alone on at night. What about now? John Scully once said, the future belongs to those who see possibilities before they become obvious. My name is Rachel Kornack, Geospatial Ambassador and aspiring new Executive Director of GISCI. The future of our organization is a blank canvas. Let's paint it together. GISCI's existence is rooted in the widespread desire to define and advance the GIS profession. One requirement for GISP certification is proof that an individual contributes to the community through conference planning, publications, outreach, and other related efforts. GISCI's goal is to set the bar high by empowering individuals to make a meaningful impact on the profession as a whole. That's a great initiative, but many people working in the industry don't realize that there is a GIS community, let alone that they're a part of it. Let's take a closer look at one of these individuals. Seven years flew by as a young woman clicked away at her computer, tucked away in a forgotten cubicle. As an entry-level employee, she wasn't given the opportunity to attend expensive conferences like her superiors or bill her time to professional development. One fateful day, she was encouraged to attend a GIS conference where she learned about GISCI and their certification program. Naively, she asked the presenter, I don't see why I should pay to get certified. I already have a good job, a GIS degree, and lots of experience. I don't see why I need another line on my resume. The presenter's response had a profound impact on her life. He said, what if it's not about you? You're part of a global network of professionals. Certification is about advancing the entire community. What will your impact be? Once she understood the concept of a GIS community, she was excited to get certified. Since then, she founded an organization to empower young GIS professionals, served a two-year appointment on a GIS advisory board, organized and spoke at several conferences, and published four articles encouraging others to do the same. She received this email from one of her readers. Your article really inspired me about our industry and how important it is to network, contribute, and innovate along the way. Do you have any suggestions about how I can get involved? That's the value of one. It's just one story, my story of transformation. Imagine the impact if hundreds or thousands of others were inspired to do the same. By the end of this presentation, I promise you'll see how we can dramatically increase GISEI's impact on the profession by implementing four initiatives. Since its creation in 2004, GISCI has experienced steady growth and certified over 5,000 GIS professionals. That's a lot of value for the profession as a whole. Imagine what the value could be if there were 10,000 GISPs. What if we attracted some of Esri's 50,000 Twitter and Facebook followers, some of the 600,000 subscribers to ARC News, or the countless GIS users around the world? What kind of impact could we have then? Let's explore four areas of growth potential. Imagine if we refocused on our audience and thought of ways to offer them more value. What if we provided additional recognition of their achievements on our website by featuring them on an interactive map, by inviting them to hang out for an interview, or by sharing their success stories using the latest technology? Imagine if we redefined our identity so our online presence portrayed our leadership role in the profession and better communicated our mission. Imagine if we reduced barriers that limit our reach. Consider the challenge students and entry-level employees face when they have to prove their GIS abilities to potential employers. To qualify for our certification, an individual must already have four years of GIS work experience. What if we eliminated this hurdle by introducing GIS badges that individuals could earn during these first four years? This could engage an untapped audience of future GISPs and build anticipation as they earn and log their points along the way. What if we created a virtual marketplace where the currency was GIS badges, not dollars? GIS organizations could pay a small fee to advertise volunteer opportunities, which count towards these badges. Volunteers could browse options to get involved and see how many points they could earn. This would encourage individuals to contribute to the GIS profession, help organizations fill their vacant positions, and add another source of revenue for GISCI. Imagine if we could reach a larger audience. Right now, we predominantly target our outreach efforts to individuals. What if we also reached out to GIS professional organizations and employers, encouraging them to promote GISCI internally? Take Esri, for example, one of the largest GIS employers in the country. Guess how many of their 3,500 employees are certified? 30. That's less than 1%. What if their managers encourage their employees to get certified as part of their annual reviews? 
How many more GISPs could we have then? We need to act now. Momentum for the GIS profession is building. Did you know that attendance at the nation's largest GIS conference has increased by a thousand people a year for three consecutive years? Did you know the North Carolina State GIS Conference broke a record in February with over a thousand attendees? That same month, Penn State released a massive open online class about GIS. In just three weeks, they had over 5,000 students enrolled. Does the number 5,000 sound familiar? It should. It's a number of GIS professionals we've certified over the last decade. Let's leverage the momentum that's building around GIS to reach a much larger audience. As I promised, you now have the fuel to dramatically increase GISEI's impact on the profession using four initiatives. You have seen how refocusing on our audience, redefining our image, reducing barriers to entry, and revamping our outreach strategy can open new doors. I want to invite you to a live demonstration of the website I created for GISEI. The site contains specific examples of the four initiatives we've covered. You can explore an interactive map of GISPs, Browse the virtual marketplace of volunteer opportunities and keep track of your GIS badges. During the presentation, you'll also have access to case studies of organizations that successfully implemented similar initiatives. The demo version of the website will only be hosted for a limited time. To sign up for a live tour, go to rachelcornack.com slash GISCI. Click on the website tour icon on the top right corner to secure your place in the live demonstration. Once again, to sign up for this live tour, go to rachelcornack.com slash GISCI. Click on the website tour icon in the top right corner, and that'll secure your place in the live demonstration. Here's to the future impact of GISCI.